Stephanie Milkey here, a.k.a. Keto Mom, or often called mom, sis, Steffi, daughter, wife, aunt, and friend. Just like many of you, I carry a lot of titles. My favorite title is mom. I should probably say wife, which takes a lot of my time. But let's be honest. If you want to do something and do it well, you will make the time for it. Commitment is hard because we find ourselves overcommitted. But when you practice prioritizing, you will find out what is actually important and what you can let go. With the Keto Mom Podcast, you will learn together how to manage our time, commit to the most important things in life, and I will equip you with the tools you need to feel qualified each step of the way. My name is Stephanie Milkey, and welcome to the Keto Mom Secrets Podcast. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Keto Mom page. My name is Stephanie, and I have some fun things to read to you. Now, as you're tuning in, Tell me where you're tuning in from. I am tuning in from, I'm actually hiding in my bathroom because the girls are wrapping presents. We have a fun launch going on downstairs, like so many things, and it's the quietest in here, although it probably sounds a little echoey. But first of all, where are you tuning in from? And I would love to know, are you new here or have you been here for a while? Now, I was going through all my notes. How many of you are a note taker? I take notes on anything that I read, people that I listen to, and I found some really insightful notes as I was going through a whole bunch of notes tonight. And I was reading them and I was like, oh my goodness, these are great little tips for the Keto Mom page. And I wish I would have wrote down who was speaking. I have a couple ideas and I'm sure, I think it might've been um, some of the doctors in our keto space, but I actually 100% don't know who I took these notes from. So I'm gonna read you some little bullet points from the notes that I have. But before I do, I have to put a plug in for my daughter. So our oldest daughter, Amelia, and her team, and her team consists of her sisters and my husband um, and some of her friends. She launched, so my do- our oldest daughter has a page on social media called A Girl With Jesus. So if you have teenage girls or preteen girls and they're on Instagram or TikTok, her TikTok is her name, Instagram is a girl with Jesus and on Facebook, but she just inspires girls. She talks about life, being a teenager. She shares, you know, fun getting ready with me, all of these young teen girl things. I say all of that because if you're looking for a gift, for your daughters, she created her own clothing line and she just launched it. And so there's lots of different colors. It is absolutely adorable. Um, Her and her friends and her sisters spent this week getting it ready and they took some beautiful pictures. So if you're looking for a page for your preteen or teen to follow, head over to Instagram. It's called A Girl With Jesus. Uh, TikTok, I think it's her name and I can give that to you and uh, Facebook, or if you are looking for a last minute Christmas gift, you guys, these sweatshirts are incredible. So she made them super fun. So look at this, it has a girl with Jesus on the sleeve. Uh, This is the first one, there's tons of different colors. There's blue and tan and white and gray. Um, And it's really well made. So it's not one of those like, uh, there's certain sweatshirts that I like and don't like. I'm just saying, if you go to agirlwithjesus.com, you can go check it out. You can support her. She's 16 and her team and the other girls that helped her and uh, she's really proud of it. So agirlwithjesus.com. Super exciting for her and uh, she's just really excited because she built it, right? Like she went on and she created and she has been pouring in on social media and adding value for years. And so this was really a homeschool project that she went in and she helped find a company to create them and they've got other logos and different fun things coming out. It was really a homeschool project. So we're super proud of her and um, it's exciting. So, and I had to wear one because I was like, it's your launch day. So, all right, if you're just tuning in, where are you tuning in from? And I have some notes that I wanna read to you. You guys, these are just bullet points from Whoever I was listening to, I actually feel really bad that I don't have the person's name. I think it was maybe Dr. Ryan or Dr. Jacob. It could have been a a podcast I was listening to, but it's all around your health and wellness. And so I'm just going to read some to you because I was clearly listening to somebody. So I'm just going to give you some bullet points. Take what you want. uh, Think about a couple of thoughts. See what you think. 
Um, but the first bullet point, cause I was go, you guys, I have hundreds of notes, hundreds. Like I am a note taker. I like to review them. I like, I like to learn. Uh, but the key isn't what you know. The key isn't what you know, right? That changes your life. The key is doing something with what you know. So the well, first bullet point was your thinking is your superpower and the results that you're going to get start up here. Um, Amelia's launch is on Instagram. Yes, it's a girl with Jesus is her Instagram and her launch of her site. It's called a girl with Jesus.com. So she would love your support. Uh, you guys click on the pictures of the sweatshirts because they go to different pictures. You can change the colors. There's an incredible bag. Uh, it's actually incredible, incredible quality. Like it's, I don't like the sweatshirts that have like stickers and it's like on the, it's, it's really great fab fabric, great quality imprinted really well. So it's not a cheap sweatshirt. All right. Um, so your thinking is your superpower. Your thinking is your superpower. Bullet number two, bullet point. So this is interesting. And I wish I would have wrote more notes around it, but, and this is why I think I was listening to a podcast around health and fitness. It says obesity has more to do with your habits than your, than your genetics, which I have learned from other doctors and scientists in the keto health space. You know, oftentimes people will say, well, it's genetics, or maybe your family says, listen, it's your genetics. And they're finding more and more that obesity isn't due to genetics. It's due to habits which I do have a habit tracker as we're diving into the new year and we've got what 19 days left of this year. I've got seven habits that I like to walk people through to help you with your mindset and your food and your water and movement and uh, intermittent fasting and, and celebrating yourself day in and day out. So if you need a habit tracker and you just want to get started, I actually have a video that explains the habits. It doesn't look, it's not very good quality as far as like the, the color is funny, but it, I did a video, I posted it on YouTube, it explains why I think the seven habits, incorporating them for the next, for diving into this next year are so powerful. If you want the free habit tracker, it's free. You can have it, just post um, tracker in the comments and I'll give it to you. Um, the next bullet point that I wrote down was, low calorie diets are not sustainable. And there's a lot of people, interestingly, in the last week that I've seen that have lost weight really quickly but they're doing it with this very popular shot that I don't know if people are actually looking into the side effects of this shot. And so it's interesting how people want such fast results that they don't wanna dive into these habits, but they will inject themselves with a medication that will have them not eat because they wanna look a certain way and they're not actually like um, thinking of the repercussions that could happen down the road. So if you want fat loss, if you want to feel better, if you want to help, if you want your health and fitness to move in a better direction, it takes time, but you can do it with support and the right habits in place and consistency over time. So take that for what it's worth. Um, bullet point. The next one is many people. Um, oh, this is interesting. Many people. Uh, deal with their mindset or they get rid of depression or they get rid of anxiety by working out, eating right, and getting enough sleep and sun. So clearly the person that I was listening to, and I feel terrible that I can't say who I was listening to, not because I don't, don't want to give them credit. I just don't have their name on my notes. But this person, and I think it might've been Dr. Ryan, Dr. Ryan Lowry, he's on Instagram. He's incredible. Um, talks about the power of working out, eating right, uh, being outside, right, getting fresh air and sleep will really help those people that are in a dark space, dark place, right? People talk about how they've just been dealing with depression and anxiety and what will help you is getting outside and moving your body and eating well and breathing in fresh air and getting the sun on your face. All of those things will help you. All right, the other next bullet point. There's nothing positive about being overweight. I don't know what that was referencing to, but I was like, yeah. I mean, is it hard to be overweight? Yes. Is it hard to work out and choose better foods? Yes. You have to choose your hard. It's hard to be overweight and it's hard to get back on track. If you're going to stay in this space where you're unhealthy, eventually you're going to pay for it. Or you can pay for it now with... Uh, 
extra movement and sweating and having to choose between a good option versus like an easy option, right? Is it hard? Yes, choose your hard. Next bullet point, people who exercise regularly have 43% fewer days of poor mental health. People who exercise regularly have less mental health issues. These are not my words. I'm pretty sure it was Dr. Ryan Lowry I was listening to. All right, um, you are not too busy to get in shape. So oftentimes I'll have people say, I'm too busy, I don't have time for it. And I wanna say you have time for what you make time for, right? So if your goal is to get healthy, if your goal is to feel better, then you've gotta make time to fit that in. Um, it takes six to eight weeks for your body to get adjusted to an exercise routine, so be patient. So as we are diving into the new year, we are going to be patient. As we are learning these new habits, I'm gonna help walk you through to get you to be the healthiest version of you. 99% chance that you are not getting enough salt and drinking enough water. So that was in my, you guys, if you're just tuning in, I'm legitimately reading bullet points from a talk or something I listened to because I was going through my notes and I thought they were all great. Uh, eating healthy isn't expensive. I have people say that to me often. Uh, and if you want, I would love to know, how do you eat healthy on a budget? That is one of the questions I get often. How do you eat healthy on a budget? And listen, um, I would love to hear your insight. Like your pop, I know some of you are popping on and maybe you're at sporting events or you're sitting somewhere where you can't physically type. It's not always easiest to type when you're walking, looking at your phone. But I'll tell people, don't, you don't need to try to make all these fancy meals. You don't need to try all these fancy keto recipes. Stick to proteins, veggies, and salads. Eat when you're hungry, not when you're bored. Eating low carb and eating healthy doesn't have to be super expensive. It's when you're over consuming food, even healthy food, and you're trying to make all of these crazy recipes as work, it's expensive. So keep it super simple and you'll be just fine. Eating healthy is a choice, right? Um, you don't have to starve yourself to lose weight. You eat more protein. Um, a good goal for movement is to walk anywhere from 7,000 to 10,000 steps a day which is incredible. Oftentimes people say, well, Stephanie, I, I, I can't lift weights or currently right now where I'm at, I can only walk. And I want to say only walking is great. It's not only walking, you're walking and moving your body. Um, if you are serious about getting in shape, you need to be serious about getting sleep. So, and Dr. Ryan is really uh, dives into the power of sleep and how people, like if you don't pay attention to your stress, and your sleep, that plays a factor on your fat loss. So uh, making sure that you're not stressed, which could be going for a walk, getting outside, putting down your phone, um, reading, like getting your mind in a space where you just need to breathe, right? And sleeping, shutting off the phone, shutting off the TV, those two things plays a huge factor in your fat loss, whether you achieve it or not. Um, and there was a couple more Supplements only work if you do and you put in the work. So I would say there's no quick way to lose weight unless you decide to inject yourself with this stuff that people are using and hoping you don't pay the repercussions of the if, like, you know how it says, like, hey, this could cause, and it has all of those lists of, like, crazy side effects. That's what, you're, that's what you're banking on if you decide to do that. If you decide to put in the work, suppl some supplements are great, right? I drink ketones every day. Ketones wake me up. They keep me up. They keep me focused. They help me with eating better and choosing better. Like, I love them. Like, you love coffee. I love ketones. Ketones are not a magic pill. You're not just going to lose weight because you're drinking them but they will help you choose better. They will help you think better. They will help you feel better. They will make you happier. Um, so if you need a supplement to help you, I have ketones, I can help you with that. And there's other things like magnesium helps with sleep, right? Electrolytes help uh, because you should be having them to not have like a headache or to keep your, uh, like if you're eating low carb, you're gonna want electrolytes. So there are things that are 100% helpful. I don't believe there's anything that doesn't maybe have a side effect, there isn't something that's gonna just make you lose the weight. Like you've gotta put in the work. And I will help you with it. So don't be like, don't be like afraid of putting in the work. You should be going, I'm going to put in the work because I wanna be the best version of me.
if you've never tried ketones, if you're local to me, and local to me is West Palm Beach, Wellington, West Palm Beach, Florida area. If you live anywhere around the area, you should send me a message. And if I'm close to you, I will pop over to where you work. I will shake up some ketones and I will give you a pack of ketones and I would love to chat with you more about it. If you've never tried ketones and you actually want a supplement, or if you just want to understand how they work, it's a powder. You put it in water, you drink it, and you feel incredible. Just post trial below and we'll chat about what that looks like. Um, all right, a couple more things. Snacking is one of the biggest reasons that people are overweight or they're not losing weight. People are just eating, even eating healthy food, because in their mindset they're like, um, well, if it's, if it's a keto food, I can eat it. Or if it's healthy, I can eat it, but you can still overconsume food, right? Your body only needs so much food for energy throughout the day. Everything else, did you know that the average person eats an excess of 15 calories after 9 p.m., which is really late to be eating, and an extra 15% of calories, and then you go to bed, and what does your body do with, with the food that it doesn't use as energy and fuel for your day? It stores it. So you have to think to yourself, if I'm not hungry and I'm eating because I'm bored or emotional, my body's not going to use that food. It's going to store it. And then I've got to work extra hard to get it off. So if there's one thing you can work around your mindset and your health, just ask yourself, am I hungry or am I bored, emotional? Um, it's in my view, like in my view and I want to eat it. So one of the first things that you can work on as you're diving into this new year is just asking yourself, am I hungry or do I need some water? Am I hungry or is it just because I naturally eat all day long and I graze? So that's just a great awareness. And those are my main notes, you guys. I love going through notes. I think it's so fun to just have an awareness. I would love to know what questions do you have around keto, low carb. Um, I love to ask the question, and especially this time of year. If And if you've been working on your health and fitness, and I would love your participation, if you've been working on your health and fitness for this last year, I would love to have you answer this because it gives other people, like, it helps people go further faster if you answer this question. And the question is, if I knew then, like let's say in January, last January or February, almost a year ago, if I knew then what I know now, what would that be? Around your health and your fitness and your fat loss goals. If I knew then what I know now, what would you say to that? Like if I knew then what I knew now, if I knew that I could overeat good food, I would be mindful about how often I'm eating. If I knew that I, that I could just cut out some of the sugary drinks and drink more water, I would feel better and have less brain fog, I would have cut out the pop and the juice a long time ago. If I knew years ago, then, what I know today, and what I know today is that, um, if I could print out a habit tracker and if I knew that if I could just follow some habits and if I knew consistency was key and if I knew that I put in a solid year of being consistent, my whole life would be changed, I would have started earlier. I would have started 10 years ago, but I started this year, right? Um, I love this. So, so, so Brittany says, I would tell myself to stick with keto instead of um, trying other programs. If I knew then, that if I heard this phrase, the diet that's going to work for you is the diet you stick with long term, I wouldn't keep going back and forth. I would stick with one thing and I would keep going. I love that. If I knew then what I know now. So here's what I want to say. I want to say thank you for tuning in. I want to answer your questions. If I have an answer, I will give it to you. So we have been sharing on this page. I say me because sometimes my husband's popped in and out for over eight years and there's recipes and there's keto tips and there's so many things I can hopefully add value to your life. And so if you've got questions, ask them below. If you want to reach out to me, send me a message. If you've never tried ketones and you live by me, I will drive to you. I will shake up a packet and I will chat with you. If you don't live by me, post trial in the comments and I'm going to chat with you about what they are and how they work. If they didn't work, I wouldn't be drinking them eight years later. Do supplements work? Some of them do. Do they change your life? Only when you put in the work behind the supplement, right? Um, 
I don't believe there's a magic pill. And I believe that if you stick, like if you could just say this year is a year where I'm dedicated to getting healthy and you give it a year, think about where you'll be next year this time if you actually stay focused. I'm not saying perfect. I'm saying staying focused on what you want and asking questions and letting me help you. It can change your entire life, 100%. Brittany says she's been drinking ketones for 2.5 years and cannot go a day without them. The worst thing about ketones is when you run out. They're incredible. They seriously are incredible. So um, post trial in the comments. I'd love to chat with you. And if you're just tuning in and you didn't catch the beginning, our daughter and her team, which is her sisters and her dad and some of her friends, launched her sweatshirts today for A Girl With Jesus. She's on Instagram, A Girl With Jesus. And if you need a gift for your preteen or teenage daughter, there's tons of colors. They're incredible, incredible, like incredible high quality. So go to agirlwithjesus.com. She would love for you to bless uh, your girls with the, this. And if you actually are looking for stocking stuffers, I have an incredible stocking stuffer ketone. So we've got a 10 pack of cream, a 10 pack of ketones, a 10 pack of our keto protein. And if you grab one of the stocking stuffers, you get the option to do a buy one, get one free box of ketones sometime in the next week or two. So if you need some stocking stuffers for you, or like you wanna know what I give for gifts, if you're my friend or I'm going to give a gift and you're in my sphere of influence, especially family, they already know they're gonna get ketones and a book or a book and some ketones. I believe in mindset. I believe in helping people be the best version of themselves with their mind and helping them to get healthy. I've got two things, great books and ketones. If you stuff your own stocking, I'm gonna give you a book to get. It's called Mind Shift. There's a new book that I just ordered. It won't be here till February. It's called Worthy. I'm excited to go through that. But if you want like stocking stuff for ketones, these really cute 10 packs, I'll post it in my stories. Go to ketomom.com. If, you, if you're a current customer, go log into your account and grab them. Cream, ketones, grab them for your grandma, grab them for your mom, grab them for your sister. Gra- like it's an incredible gift for yourself. Like I'm gonna stuff my own stocking. Um, or if you've never tried them, ketomom.com and I'd love to walk. I wanna walk you through it though. Like I, I love that people order but I actually want to help you understand how they work. So if you order, I need to talk to you. If you wanna know what they actually are and how they would best work for you, send me a message or post ketones in the comments and we'll chat. Otherwise, I hope you guys have an incredible day. Thank you for tuning in. Your presence matters and I will talk to you very soon. Bye.